What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with part 2 of the new Strange Quest on Warframe. And I'm going to try to go through this video pretty quick today. Today we're going to be doing the step of the quest where we have to scan 3 uh, Elite Arid Lancers for Cephalon Samaris on Mars. And the easiest place to do this is Ares, and uh, I think that node is going to be marked for us automatically for the quest. In order to start this, you're going to need to have the Synthesis Scanner and the Synthesis Trap, which you will acquire from uh, Samaris on the Relay. Without those, you cannot do the mission. Uh, in fact, he won't even talk to you in the mission unless you have those, so in order to progress the quest, you're going to have to pick those up. Uh, pretty simple, honestly, and I'm going to try to explain this pretty clearly because this is a quest a lot of people have trouble with uh, right in the middle of the game, just not knowing, I guess, how to use the scanners or how to find... Uh, the guys that you have to scan. It's kind of similar to the other stuff in Warframe where they don't really give you a lot of direction. So as soon as you jump into the mission, uh, Samaris is going to talk to you. That's how you'll know the mission is active, that you can actually do this. You're going to then want to select your synthesis scanner and just use it to kind of look around a little bit. It works the same way as the codex scanner. You can zoom in on objects and scan them. And actually, if you scan regular objects, it will give you um, affinity with Cephalon Samaris if you are trying to build up your reputation with him in addition to doing his other... Uh, missions that he has you can also uh, do that but the main thing you want to do is when you start looking around you're going to see these little glowing dots now these little glowing dots are actually going to tell you the direction that you need to go in so you're going to follow these little glowing dots all the way through the map now i have this video sped up to i think two times the speed uh, but if you watch through it here you'll actually see me uh, following it i do a, a full run here on the first one just so you guys can kind of get an idea of how you do this. So these little flashing dots, you're going to follow them all through the map. Uh, you can stop and fight enemies if you want to. I was trying to go uh, kind of quickly through here, so I only um, really stopped to scan a few guys just to show you how the scanner works. Basically, you zoom in on the gun, whatever it is you're trying to scan, you'll get some reputation for Samaris. Now what's going to happen is once you get to the end of the, the pathway that these dots uh, put you on, you're going to find the target that you need to scan, in this case the Elite Arid Lancer. Now, there will be different targets in other missions later on, and if you have a scanner within your gear inventory, you'll be doing some random missions at times, and Samaris will basically tell you, hey, go get, go find this target, and if you want to do it, you can do that and get a ton of daily affinity for him. So you get to this target at the very end, which you'll see here in just a minute when we find him, and there are going to be four specific spots on the Elite Arid Lancer that you will need to scan, both of his legs and I believe right around his shoulders on both of his arms. You have to actually aim the scanner at those and zoom in until they change color. You'll see these little dots uh, go from green to red or red to green. I can't remember the exact sequence of it, uh, but you'll see. And essentially, you will be able to um, grab that, use the trap, which will stop him. You have to use the trap in order to scan him, and then you'll see the little spots on there. You'll zoom in, and they change color, and there you have it. Pretty quick and pretty easy. Uh, it's kind of funny in this map because I was trying to do this and I got one of those uh, um, assassinations that came after me. So that can make it a little bit of a pain. And of course the stalker could show up too, but uh, really not too too hard here. And this last little bit shows me getting the final uh, third one. Now the cool thing when you do this mission, you don't actually have to complete the mission you're going into. As soon as you get that scan, you can abort and go back out to your ship and come back down and do it the next two times. Uh, once you're done with it then, you're going to go back to Samaris and talk to him. He's going to give you a blueprint to complete the next step of the quest, which is going to be a beacon. Uh, there will be some dialogue between him and Ortis here, where he starts to talk about Ortis working in the sanctuary. And uh, you're going to craft this blueprint, and basically once you do that, it will open up the next little bit uh, of the quest, and you'll be able to progress. Essentially, we're going to be working to uh, get Chroma. Uh, the blueprint to make the Chroma Warframe out of this. So that's going to do it for this part. I hope you guys found this pretty helpful and pretty simple. This is uh, one of the harder steps of the quest. Most people seem to get stuck on all the time. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Uh, but like I said, this was a really pretty easy step of this quest. Probably the easiest step for me in many ways, because it's, it's basically just repeating it three times. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks, as always, for watching. And I will see you again next time.